Hey guys, Chris here, West Side Dive. So today we're talking about floats or markers when you're in the water. Um, if you're spearfishing, free diving, snorkeling, scuba diving, you, you really need to have a marker. A lot of countries and states, um, it's actually law. Where we live, it's law. You need to have a, 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 a float set up where you have a, a diver down. This is a diver down flag. We'll go over that in a minute. This is with the red and white stripes um, to mark yourself. So other divers, other boaters, other fishermen, they know that you're a, there's a diver in the area. So in my opinion, this is number one on, on safety. Uh, when you're out in the water, you need to have this marker marking yourself so everybody else knows that you're there. Okay, in Hawaii, it's state law that you have a 12 by 12, that's 12 inch by 12 inch minimum uh, red and white diver down flag. This is called a diver down flag. You can see it has the distinct red and white stripe through it. This needs to be clearly displayed on all flotation devices. Uh, if you're on a boat, it needs to be at the top highest pinnacle on that boat, um, flying high so everybody will know that there's a divers in the water. Now, uh, it's also state law, Hawaii state law, that you have to have one of these marking yourself um, Anytime you're in the ocean, snorkeling, that's right, snorkeling, free diving, spearfishing, or scuba diving. So something to keep in mind that, you know, it's, it's all about safety, uh, especially if you're in areas where there's, you know, lots of, uh, you know, tourist traffic, maybe boat traffic in the area. We all, we all want to um, avoid boats while we're swimming and enjoying the fish and the sea life. Okay, guys. I, d I wanted to address um, on on one of our last videos we did on floats. We have a we have a question here from a um, uh, a comment for a question on that on that video. So to clarify, he asks, would you follow up on what the diver down flag actually means? Around the world, there's universally known uh, diver down flag. It's it's this red and white. Uh, flag with, with, the sh with the white stripe going through it. Um, there's also another universally kind of known uh, flag. We don't use it here in Hawaii. Um, it's an alpha flag. Some of the scuba uh, boats will use it. Uh, alpha flag is a blue and white f uh, stripe um, flag, so similar. And again, these have to be 12 by 12, um, 12 by 12 inches at least. The bigger the better. If you're on a boat, bigger the better. You want it, you want it displayed as high as possible so, so everybody looking will know that there's divers in the area. Okay, so this the second part to the question he asks is, I understand that there is a, a diver in the area, but what does that include to other divers, shore fishermen, boaters uh, within, the, within view? Uh, is there some kind of distance and, that another person or a boater must observe uh, if they see the dive flag? So there's a new diver. So yes, there is a there is a distance that you that you probably want to you know um, follow, and the st Hawaii state law actually says uh, you, you need to be a hundred feet away from the when, whenever you see this 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 marker. Um, that's again on a on a boat, um, kayak, jet ski, float like this or whatever. So any diver or a boater. Um, kayaker, fisherman, or whatever. If if you're with coming within a float, and you and you see you know the diver down flag, you, you want to kind of observe that, you know, trying to stay a hundred feet away. Um, and um, uh, also the divers need to be within that hundred feet radius uh, around the their marker. Uh, again, the boat, uh, float, kayak, or whatever. So um, I hope that kind of clears things up a little bit. Um, diving. Uh, if you're spear fishing, free diving around fishermen who are or you know, uh, um, on fishing off a boat or fishing offshore, I would just say suggest you probably stay a little bit further away than that hundred feet. You know, you can spook fish from from quite uh, a distance away. They can they can see and hear you before you ever see them. So fishermen, you know, maybe respect them a little bit more, stay a little bit further away. But um, you know, it's it's a good signal, so everybody kind of knows, you know, you know, there's there's divers in the area, and, and um, you know, you have to have to think about this this other scenario, right? So I hope that helps. Now, whether you're uh, diving during the day or at night, you need to have a, a float uh, with with a dive flag that's 
that's visible. Um, there's there's a few reasons to have a float. You can attach things to it. Uh, your, if you have a bag, you want to put your fish into. The reason that I particularly like this style of float is because it's it's actually a life saving device. Uh, short story here is uh, I, I have a friend who will not be named. Uh, was out diving with uh, his 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 group, and he actually got in trouble and blacked out. Um, luckily, one of the other divers saw him and was able to rush over there and get him onto the top of this uh, lifeguard float. He was completely, you know, limp. While they had him on the float, getting trying to get him back to shore about 500 yards or more out, they were giving him CPR, and you know, it took a few minutes, as you can imagine. Um, but by the time they got him to shore, um, or he, they, they were able to save his life. If they didn't have this, I don't, I don't know if that would have been the case. Um, you know, trying to drag someone through the water, give him a CPR without, uh, you know, something that, to keep them on top of is probably, probably would have been a disastrous thing. But so something to think about. So these are safety devices. Uh, other than marking yourself, um, you know, it's very important. We're always thinking about safety while you're in the water diving, while you're off the of land because we're land animals. If we're in another environment like water, we need to have these things. There's also been a little. Um, controversy, if you will, regarding boats and how close they can come to divers. Uh, here where we live, we have you know we have a lot of tourist boats that take folks out. Um, you know, you know, trying to look for for dolphins or just whales, and and there'll there'll be divers in the area. You know, hunting for spearfishing and uh, and free divers that can be in the area. Uh, Hawaii state law actually says. You know, again, going back to you know the the, the perimeter. You, uh, if you if you see a dive flag or a floater, uh, or a dive flag on a boat, you you should you know uh, respect that hundred feet kind of barrier. Boats can actually come in within that if they're if they're coming in to pick you up. Uh, if I say if a tourist boat or if or if, uh, if if a boat wants to come close to you and you have you know your your flag displayed, um, they need to come. They can come in, but they need to come in at the slow no wind. Um, uh, speed and that's actually law it's it's pretty clear they can't come flying in after you um, so uh, and that has happened and, and unfortunately you know I think captains will, will get a little upset with divers in the area and this and that but we all need to be respectful we're all out there you know doing our thing um, so just keep that in mind if you know we, you you can approach inside you know that hundred feet kind of um, zone but you you know you got to be cautious about it and be aware because you don't know exactly where a, a diver is okay guys that's it just kind of wanted to go over this a little bit again um, it's it's really important to mark yourself. I can't I can't stress that enough. Um, you you know, it's to, there's a multitude of reasons marking yourself so others can see you. I've actually heard stories of of, of guys you know getting in trouble, drifting off to sea, and they're able to hold on to this and be picked up later because they have you know the the, the dive flag and um, color also matters. Uh, you know this this kind of this kind of orange you know bright reddish color um, I think that's that's a that's a color that um, can be seen at, at night uh, if, with, if the Coast Guard's looking for you um, and in these kind of things some of these flags have a reflective uh, mark um, on them and so yeah just, just something to think about um, we have plenty of different kinds of floats here we do have blow up ones uh, we, we sell m the majority of our floats are, are these kind of hard floats um, a little bit bulky but still you know again going back to the safety thing it's better to be safe than sorry so i hope that helps you guys and uh, appreciate you watching if leave leave your comments again um any other questions uh if, you're, if i'm not clear on things we're happy to clear it up but yeah we're uh, always think that this is a community so leave your comments for us and then i'll definitely answer them all maybe make another video of, of something you like okay aloha